What's up everybody, it's FireMice here and welcome back to my channel. And, well, I guess it's welcome back to me as well. But yeah, I've got a, a new little project that I'm going to run with over the next few days or weeks. Depends on how it goes and it is called Surviving Marsh. Now, first of all, I would like to apologize if I don't sound the same. First thing is I'm a little sick, um, which is also... Part of the reason why I finally have some time to record again, and then the other thing is, is uh, I recently had to move my whole gaming and recording setup, so I don't have my proper mic plugged in and working yet. So I'm using my headset microphone, which is obviously not the same quality. But yeah, without any further ado, let's get into some surviving Mars. I've set up my missions and well, my mission and i'm ready to rock and roll so we have our first rocket payload ready it's going to send us uh, three prefab buildings one rc commander one rc explorer an ac an rc transport six drones and we'll get some polymer machine parts electronics and four orbital probes to get us started um now I would like to point out that this game is really difficult, so I did absolutely, have, I have some mods installed to make it a little bit easier. I've played it a little bit, and like I said, it is really, really hard. Alright, so let's see here. I want something that has a lot of metal. A landing spot that has a lot of metal. And to be honest... It would seem that this is basically the place for us. So Elysium Beta is where we're going to be landing at. And let's get going. Let's get going. Like I said, I do have some mods installed. We'll try to... Uh, I don't know. Not jump forward. So I'll only build mod buildings uh, once I have the, have the normal counterparts unlocked. Mars. And welcome to Mars. So everyone at Mission Control is impatient to see the rocket touch down. Let's get going. Let's see. Uh, so we are up on a little hill. Here. And there's a valley. So this is going to be our little working area. We can scan four of these sectors already. Uh, let's do now it's any mini mini mo Scan that one okay, quite concerning All right we'll queue that one up to scan next and then we'll make sure that we scan uh, the parts that we'll be working with first so let's get these queued up for scanning. Alright, then we can land our rocket. So now the question, really, with the pop-up? Enough with the pop-up. <laughs> so where do we want to land? Okay, so there's lots of surface metal lying around. We've got concrete and stuff over here. This also looks like it's going to be the best area for building stuff. Alright, let's go. Let's put the rocket down right here. In between these little rocks here, we'll put the rocket down. Down she comes, down she comes, down she comes. We have touched down on Mars. Yeah, I don't care about panning the camera. We'll get buildings constructed, don't worry. Alright, so here we go. We have RC Commander, good stuff. RC Transport, good stuff. That can collect resources. And then the RC Explorer we can use to scan anomalies. We'll start straight up with that one. Also, let's get some research going already. We want to go down into the robotics tree. Here, because we want drones, so we'll definitely get that going. Um, 
What's this? Advanced motion engine. Engines. Rocket required least fuel. We'll definitely research that. Um, we'll go down the physics tree as well. We'll get biotech going. Terraforming. And, alright. Sweet. I don't really care about the social stuff at the moment. The robotics tree is the most important one that I would like to do. I think we're also going to start by outsourcing straight up. We'll outsource a little bit of research for us. We have to be really careful with our cash, but I feel like we need to get some form of um, research going quickly to help us out here. All right, so now we need a couple of things. First things first, we need to decide where we're going to have our main setup going. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get an RC dozer. So I'm wondering if we should maybe... To start with, we'll get a cargo rocker. We'll have... What? I can't get a dozer? Ooh! Well, that sucks. Can I build a dozer? No, I cannot build a dozer yet. Hmm. Alright, so we don't have a dozer. It doesn't look like we're going to get a dozer anytime soon as well. So that means we have to be really careful in our planning. So I like this area over here. I think this is where we're going to start. We've got the uh, rare metals deposit over there. I do have a... A mod that can extract that as well. We have concrete over here. And I don't honestly care about the water. I do have a mod for water. So I think the first thing first is to get the place where we're going to run our power from. Up and running. Problem is, is it's not really flat. And that is really irritating. But let's start with collecting this quickly. It will go get the resources from that. And then, alright, so there is a wonder that you can build eventually. If you go into wonders, it will appear here eventually. But basically what it is, is it's the artificial sun. Now, I will, when we get to it, I will construct this one. But obviously, we have to research and unlock that first. So, I think what I'm going to do is, is I want to prepare... For that inevitability by having a space for it already set out. So I think what we're going to do in this area over here is where we're going to have our power stuff going from. Right? So what I wanted to do is put that down and just get the power cables for it late. Oopsie, that doesn't work. Alright. Right now. So that's going to sit over there. The power cables for it will need to be done. So that thing fits in a square. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 5678952 Research complete anomaly seven, analyzed eight, so it should fit achieved. perfectly into that little thing bit All right so we have our base grid laid out of what where we're going to start and we'll start working from this area over here so what I want to do is, is I want to get that thing parked in there for now. All right. So we have to obviously set up power. Now we have to be careful because we don't currently have a lot of resources to work with. Um, but we'll, we're going to start out by using obviously solar panels and power accumulators. To get us running along with the advanced turning generator. The advanced turning generator is part of our faction that we chose. So we can use that to do more things. We did 
unlock some new research. So we'll queue that up to get going as well. Um, so yeah, we want to start laying out some solar panels, which obviously will need iron, but we need a depot first. So we'll place a universal depot. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Around here we want to have power accumulators. First things first. So let's get the grid laid out for that as well. So the power accumulators to start with will only take two, but the upgraded versions of them will need a block of three. So we'll do something like this. So there'll be power accumulators that fit in there. Let's get a grid laid out. Yeah, if you suffer from OCD, this game is going to be a little bit hard on you. Because you can't do straight lines that go up, which is really, really frustrating. Like, really frustrating. <laughs> Alright, so inside this area, obviously, I want to utilize, utilize the space inside this area. As best as I can. Alright, so there'll obviously be some piping that needs to happen here. Uh, for now, let's just put this thing down so that I can actually see where that's going to happen. And that will also help me to get an idea of where I can actually build. So there will be pipes that run out there, pipes that run out there, and pipes that run out there. Alright, then we can take this away. So now we know which spaces are open for us to work with, then we can finally put down down one of these for now like that. I take this. Alright, so that should be enough for the RC to actually start collecting metal. Okay. All of the resources in this area, make all of it, you bring it into this area over here. Uh, the problem is, is that this has resources on it. I wonder if we should destroy this rocket. Well, let's just do this. We'll just have one place down for now. Just like that, so that they can unload the rocket, at least. Alright, so... That's good. That's good, that's good. Alright, then we want solar panels to run around here. Let's so move back to the center. We want solar panels that are going to be running around the entire area. So they require, also require a block of three. I just want to see if I place one down, then rotate its counterpart like this. No. That's not gonna work for me. If I place it there, then rotate it like this, then I can get a feeling of how large I need this area to be that goes around that part. Alright, so that means the cable will run there. Alright, let's have this destroyed. We need 
a lot of metal to get these up and running which we will get to just now the metal will start piling up here soon enough all right let's get going so that goes out again all right so this block is how large oh i don't suppose it matters like the power cable there come down and here it goes down again and here we're going to have a problem i think for now we'll stop it right there in down in over this type of area over here so this needs to be flattened before we can really continue in that direction this needs to be flattened before we can work in this direction and that needs to be flattened before we can work in that direction now i want to have my water situation set up over here this bigger block that's gonna be here so this thing's really expensive we're not gonna do it right now but that's gonna be where that is uh, also, I think I think we need to destroy this depot But there's still nothing on it But what we're going to need is, is we're going to need one drone hub That sits over there So that's one drone hub so long That will make sure That we've got drones in this area all right, so we want a research complete. Going to need a water excavator. We'll place that down. We're going to need a concrete excavator. So let's put that down as well. So they are being serviced by the rocket. That means this guy can now come over here to assist with that. Alright, so then I think what I am going to do is I'm going to get another cargo rocket. In this cargo rocket I'm going to bring down... Two more transports, one more commander, we'll bring down 20 metal and then start filling it up with the other resources. Ah. Okay, so we'll bring that rocket down here as well. Uh, obviously this requires metal and machine parts, this requires concrete and machine parts. Uh, I have zero concrete so we're going to put this down, the priority on this, we're going to put it down to very low. And this we're going to put up to very high. So yeah, now that will start to happen and we can speed up time a little bit to get these things up and running. This obviously is going to require power. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, the problem is this is that <coughs> that's going to get stored over there. Which is not ideal. Obviously we want most of the storage to take place here. But that is outside of the hub of our drone over here. And maybe we should have used that. You know what? Let's do it. We'll salvage that. I know it's not very efficient. But I just think that working with the concrete that's at our area is going to be more efficient for us for now. Put that down there. That means these drones can build it. We'll put the priority up for it really high as well. 
I mean, what the hell? This guy, the first thing. Oh, you see, it's a problem. It's a serious problem. Because the resources for it is over there. Resources are low. Figure it out. Get this going by clean. Alright, so this thing needs machine parts to get going. There is obviously metal here. Right, they're constructing the grid still. Sector scanned. Those guys over there. Right, this rocket has arrived. Oh, we can always use more drones. Right, we'll rotate this guy to try and get him to fit in here somewhere. Just like that. This guy will land right there. That sent us eight more drones. Just gonna make life a little bit easier. We'll salvage that. Alright, so I think what we're going to do is, is I'm going to salvage this rocket and I'm going to destroy that stockpile over there. And with the RC transport, I'll also collect all the resources that's there and bring them over here. RC commander will end over there. Collect resources. Research complete. Bunch of metal over there, so bring all the resources that's there over here. Alright, so this thing's finally built. Uh, like I said, it requires power, so we'll go into power. We will find... Okay, we have one sterling generator. Place the sterling genie for right there for now. Get the power up and running on that guy. And then we can start laying out our solar panels. Uh, we do have metal for them. So we're going to start laying out the solar panels. Come on. Uh, our research has probably been running for a while. Uh, robotics, I couldn't go on there. Alright, let's wait for it. Okay, so we have some solar panels up and running. Do more down this side as well. Give us power. Alright, and then with this, what we really need is, is we need to have some power accumulators running for us already. So we'll have those ones. In fact, let's just fill up this bit here. So 
but that's eight of those. We lost drones. Oh, salvage that one, and we'll salvage that one. Don't know how they got destroyed, but they did get destroyed. Right. But these things, drones with no controllers. I'm just thinking, oh, this has as many as it can take, so, we, but that's fine, we have another commander over here. That can go and fetch those ones. Alright, so this is finally up and running. Now the question is, under power, can I actually build this? Yes, I can. Alright, sweet. Alright, so we need resources here that to build this. Uh, what we need is concrete, so I'm gonna go into storage. I'm gonna do a depot. We're gonna do a concrete depot for now, and we're gonna say that we would like to Sector have scanned. anomaly found six. Yeah. All right. I can. I can do that. All right. Let's see. This guy's not doing anything, so we'll go there. Click no here. Active research. We'll transport. Oh, no, no, no. That was a mistake. Go here. Transport concrete to there. Right. Another destroyed drone. Salvage that. Drone prototypes. Drone is critically malfunctioned. No active research is a problem for us. We want to get down in that tree. Terraforming under the care. That. Uh, get that going. I suppose we have to do that at one point in time to get further done. Alright, sweet. Alright, so we are producing a lot of power currently. Um, go in here. What does this thing cost? Uh, this is concrete polymer. I'm not gonna build more of those. We're really low on polymer at the moment. This thing's not doing anything. Have it scan that. Uh, and that. Let's shift click. That's that one. Scan that and then come and scan that. Any other anomalies for now? Oh, just the two. All right. Building's not working. All right. Sweet. We know this. Uh, by the way, this needs to be deconstructed now. This thing requires maintenance of a machine part. Uh, let's do this. Yeah. All the resources. That's there. Transport. Anomaly it. analyzed. Yeah. Now we need to get power to that thing. Uh, let's do a sterling generator. This requires a lot of resources that I don't currently have. All right, problems. Let's get power cables rather. Power cable running over. We can just do that for now. I'm sure this thing can power both. Let's hope that gets built. And I already want us to extract oxygen. I'm not really ready for that. Another drone with the dust. Really bad. There's more to the barren environs of the Red Planet than meets the eye. A veritable treasure trove of undiscovered knowledge and wonder. Alright, so, so Dozer Rover, where's that? Do 
do that. I really want that. Get that going. Alright. Can we outsource some more? Alright, we gotta be really careful of the monies. But let's get the dozer going so I can start get things running. Alright. So the problem is, is that the power is not being constructed over here and it requires metals. Anomaly analyzed. The only thing I can really think of to do is just to do one of those over there. And then it's fine. This guy's not doing anything, so you will collect all the resources. All the resources here. And then you transport them to here. Detonate that a little bit like that. We're not doing anything as well. You collect all the collect everything that's in there all and take it yeah again. It's not in the resources area. Oh. Yeah. Alright, so they're all working. Alright, good stuff. Alright, so we do have concrete coming in. You can already amplify it. I'm not going to worry about that now. I need this up and running. I need the water stuff. We need water stuff to make fuel. I really do. Do this. Because I think I want to dismantle that guy for now. Salvage the resources out of that. Alright, so that's got power, but it requires pipes. Uh, let's do this for now. Let's deconstruct this immediately. Get the power. Cables. Uh, When I need guys to take this away. Speed it up a bit. There we go. Research complete. So I will construct a power cable now. And I need the uh, pipes. I will connect there. Here. Down. Over. Right, let's get them to the grid for now. Alright, so now fuel. How are we going to do our fuel? I feel like this is the perfect area, but it's not flat. And I need the RC dozer technology. Which we are currently researching. Alright, you know what? Let's just uh, pause it here. And all the drones. 
Yeah. We get another port with drones. We've lost a bunch of drones. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to wait for the RC Dozer research to finish so that I can flatten this part out over here so I can get my fuel set up going over there. Have this area. We need to start creating fuel. We have no choice. Um, one of the other mods that I do have is this Second Universal scan. Depot. Um, I'm going to have to obviously get a lot of research done before I can actually use it. Um, but we'll eventually have like a proper setup for that. Um, in the meanwhile, I think what I will do is, is I will construct more of these new ones over here. So we'll have one. I it when I do that. Like that. Uh, other two like that. I we'll have some EPO stuff going over there. Research for the dozer is complete. I'll bring you guys back. Once we have the dozer research done, hopefully we can build a dozer. And yeah, that should be nice. Alright, welcome back, welcome back. Alright, so we can finally construct an RC dozer. It's going to cost 10 electronics and 20 metals. We have all the resources that we require to do that. Um, in fact, I'm going to construct two of them just to speed up the process of terraforming somewhat. Uh, while we were wait waiting, I did... Um, some of the piping layout um, the first part that we're going to terraform obviously is going to be this little bit over here just because I really want to uh, start getting my fuel production up and running we also discovered water over here so I might I might actually delete all this and just work from here just because it's in the range of the drone up which will probably be a lot better um, in fact, I think that is exactly what we're going to do as soon as we have the dozers up and running. When we have this terraformed, I will start to move all of that over to here. That is going to be the best thing. Alright, let's speed up time a little bit, get the dozers up and running. We have one dozer, we can start laying out our terraforming. We want to flatten all of this, so it says not flat, no shit, Sherlock. Alright, we'll work in a line that way. Then we'll work in a little bit of a downward bit over here. In this direction. And then up we go. Center port as well. Alright, sweet. So that's now laid out. Now the dozers can actually start dozing all of that down all right so they'll start dozing that down should be good Sector got a problem we need Are you on it please help with this help with that please help with that we I have to get going as soon as possible. Alright, so that should start to work now. This guy's not doing anything. Let's collect materials from. Make them over here. Uh, oh, the. Oh, they're done! Yay! Alright, well, normal speed. They're done. I might as well then queue up this bit over here. So, start by going out that direction. Coming down. Going over. Up. Take unit over. That's in the center. All 
All right. So, boys, start dozing that. Start helping with that. All right. Let's get that part done as well, and then start to get fuel production online. And after fuel production, I think that will be the end of today's little episode. But first things first, let's get the fuel production up and going. I really want research complete. Get fuel up and running. All right, so we've got some research done. Let's keep going down into robotics. I want to get my flying up technology thing researched. All right, so the dozers are dozing. All right, so in this area, like we said, we are going to start doing... First of all, let's get the power cable run out. But right there for now. And then we can start looking at... Where is it? Fuel refineries. Oh, I don't have prefabs for fuel refinery. Alright, so a rocket will be required from Earth. We'll go cargo rocket, prefab buildings. Get me one, give me two drone ups. Get me three fuel refineries. Get me two sterling generators. Oh, no. No. Get me two sterling generators. Get me a couple of moisture vaporizers as well. No, we're not going to take moisture vaporizers. We'll do that. Um, get more polymer. More machine parts. No, we'll just get more resources after the prefabs. There we go. Just change that. Alright, sweet. So another rocket is coming. With that, we can put the fuel refineries down. Uh, I need to get a waste rock depot. What can you do? Alright, sweet. So, this is one more mod. It's called a mega dumping. And then basically all it does is it collects huge amounts of waste, waste rock so you don't have to have a ton of them going at the same time. It's just so that you have less waste rock to worry about. Guys are dozing. I wish they would hurry up a little bit. Alright, we're waiting for this rocket to Research arrive. Research complete. Research is done. Um, what are we going to go in next? What's this? Get that. That's all fine for now. This will... Oh, we can't. Alright. Still waiting for the rocket to arrive. Guy's not doing anything. If we can't find some resources for him to gather up, gather up all the resources that we can. Uh, I think I should get down into this valley as well. Obviously, it's a problem without areas being scanned. As areas are being scanned, we will obviously uncover more resources and stuff. But it does seem like there is not anything really to do right now, so we'll just drive him over here. Drive him over here. Alright, so what we can do is, is we can help to move all this waste rock that's being generated over here. So, waste rock. Here. So with the two of them helping to move the waste rocket should go really quickly. Good news, our uh, 
This rocket is ready to return to Earth. Yes, there we go. Achieved. And the other one will land soon enough. It's 93%. We're almost done. Not working. Okay, so the dozers are done dozing. This place is now flattened. We will schedule the next area soon. Uh, which I think will be over here. Get that, or up here, I mean. Get that flattened out as well. Um, this rocket is. Yeah, let's get some probes going for us. Alright, so this is ready to land. And then probe is also ready to land. We'll use both of those. It's not the waste drop, waste drop to the waste drop storage. Right, so that landed. We have 10 probes. This is landed. We now have the prefab buildings that we require for fuel. So we'll go in here. We have three fuel refineries. We will rotate them like so. Put them down the line like this. One. Two. And three. Brilliant stuff. Alright. Well guys, we are now producing fuel. We are on our way to getting mods ready for colonists. So research hopefully... Complete. Thank you for the research. Hopefully in the next episode we can actually get the dome building to get some people down here but that's definitely going to be it for today's episode i want to thank all of you for joining me if you enjoyed the video remember to give it a thumbs up if you're new and you haven't already please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and um yeah i'll see you in the next episode of surviving mars man all right cheers